saying it puts amnesty first and enforcement second. Some critics also concerned it could be bad for business. International Franchise Association CEO Steve Caldera is one of them, and Tamara Jacoby has been involved in the Washington negotiations. So you've been close to the process in D.C. Just lay it out there for the viewer what's going on. The, the most important part of comprehensive immigration reform is not the part that most people think. Most people think about legalizing the people already here. The most important part is fixing the system for the future. And Democrats and Republicans and business and labor, and what I mean by fixing it for the future is, are, are we going to let in immigrants in the future legally? Are we going to create a legal way to come so they don't have to come illegally? Less skilled workers. And Democrats and Republicans and business and labor have been at odds about this. They've gotten to a deal. It's a good deal. Deal, but it's too small. You know, I'll tell you something, Steve. When I heard about this story, this really opened my eyes about what's going on in this fight. It is so revealing. The labor unions basically want to cap the number of less skilled workers coming into the into the U.S. The labor unions. Wow, that's a switch. But the construction workers are saying, hey, wait a second. We do want those less skilled workers coming in to help us out in the housing industry. What do you make of that kind of switch there? Well, thanks for having me on, Liz. And first and foremost, I'd like to express my appreciation to the Gang of Eight bipartisan group of senators that have put together this sound immigration plan. Uh, we believe in the basic principles of it, except we believe it doesn't go far enough as it relates to the guest worker program component. Uh, in fact, the caps that you just mentioned uh, on the program uh, account for not even one-tenth of the workers that we're going to need uh, in the franchise industry, um, as well as the construction industry that you just mentioned. You know, in our industry, we added 150,000 jobs last year. We're forecasted to add 162,000 jobs this year, but yet we can't find the workers to meet the forecasted demand moving forward. Uh, so let me understand this. Uh, I, uh, let's go through this. When we talk about cap, and, we, and they're talking now about capping the number of less skilled workers into the United States, how many are we talking about? They're talking about creating a new program, and they're but talking about they're talking about starting with 20,000, just 20,000 20, coming 000. in from, uh, from the Mexico, and then go, no, from all of all from wherever they come, from just 20,000. It will from grow. Anywhere in the it world? will grow. Wait, it will on. grow. I want to be clear to the viewer: just 20,000 from anywhere in the world? Le a less skilled worker visa program. By, the, by 2020, we'll be up to 75,000. But Steve's right. I want to I echo what Steve said. The Gang of Eight have done a good job in crafting a program. We don't have a program now for less skilled workers. We have a program for PhDs. We have a program for farm workers. But we don't have programs for restaurants and hotels and construction. And it's, it's really important that we have Republicans and Democrats agreeing we need a program. And they okay. crafted a pretty good program, just too small. I got to go. Last final word. What, how do you feel about amnesty? Um, we need to do something about those 11 million You're people. You're for it. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Steve? Steve? Are you for it? Uh, look, uh, I, we've got uh, 11 million people here illegally, 7 million in the workforce. Uh, deportation is not uh, uh, reasonable. They're not going to self-deport. We've got to figure out a way to legalization, ultimately probably a pathway to uh, citizenship uh, with strict criteria. But uh, we've got to deal with it, and, and I think now's the time you know, to do it. Americans just want immigrants to come here legally. It's not a lot to ask. Uh, we want a solid, safe border, border. That's what we're talking about. That's why I have... Uh, you know, you smart people here to talk about it. You've been ter terrific. Thank you so much for your time. Next up, I bet you have been wondering why... Dark